Okay, what's up guys? So we just stepped out of my dorm. Actually, it's about 2 p.m. right now. Um, I spent the morning uh, making my research on which courses to take so that, you know, I didn't want to delay it because next week is add and drop week. After that, I slept a bit because I was so tired after my morning workout. Yeah, you know, we need to be fit. So I'm trying to uh, make my workout routines more consistent, inshallah. I'm with Carlos, he's one holding the camera. Carlos, say hi. Hi, people. Yeah, so we're going right now, first of all, to the stationery. I want to see if I can buy just one or two books. Show my university. Oh, Ankara University. <laughs> yeah, this is the field um, where we usually play every week since our dormitory is close by. Uh, it's a very nice place, a very good place to play. Five, five. Afterwards, we are going to see here. Um, Carlos needs to get some things for himself. I also need to buy a screen protector for my laptop. Yeah, I've, not, I've been using it without a screen protector and I'm scared something might happen. So I want to get that, inshallah. Afterwards, I'll be going to Dental Aesthetic Center for my tooth examination. Yeah, I have my appointment for 4.45 today. Yeah, so this is a full vlog. We'll be taking you guys along as we do every single activity today. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, so guys, this place is called Kurtulush. It's a very chill area, very nice. Um, I like it because you can easily get things you need around and transportation is very easy. But at the same time, apartments are quite expensive here because it is close to the city center, Kizilai. So if you're looking for apartments, not too expensive, Kurtulush is not a place to check for. <laughs> you may have to go further, the Kimevi, Mamak, and so on and so forth. There are a lot of cafes around here, a very nice places to study, have coffee, you know, hang out with friends and so on. Um, also, nightlife here is quite popular because there are a lot of bars around. And um, what else is here in Kutulush? You can also find Beam and I use Beer, A101 and BIM, which are like the two most popular um, grocery stores you would find anywhere in Turkey. Yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys a bit about Kutulush. There's a stationery shop around here. I really hope prices are not too expensive. I want to see if I can buy just two books, simple books, nothing big. I don't need waterproof. Let me see this one. This one is 48. Do you want to say hi to YouTube? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go and pay. So we're currently in Kutulush station. We're going to take Bashkent try the train that goes above. We're taking it to see here. I think that is just two stops from here. You know, this reminds me of Istanbul. <laughs> Did you try to take... My water. Oh, okay, let me get it. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go ahead. So normally guys, I don't use this train because number one, I don't have to. Secondly, that it comes every 15 minutes. So if you don't plan your time, you have to wait for 15 minutes in the sun in this case, in winter, in the cold. That's why I don't really like it, but it's okay. Yeah guys, so I'm currently where I want to buy my laptop protector. <laughs> Actually, there was one on my screen already, I did not know. Yeah, the scratches were on the protector, I did not know. I thought they were on the screen, so thankfully. And um, I'm going to buy another keyboard protector because the one I have is getting old. What is very happy? Let's go. I'm running late for my appointment, which is at Oran. I have to take a bus, so I'm going to kiss life right now. What do you guys think about the streets of Ankara? Is it lively? 
Is it similar to your countries? Tell me, what do you think? Please leave a comment below. This is Kizla, it's very crowded. And there are lots of shops here too. You can get almost anything you need here. Yeah, that's why it is the city center. The bus stop is there, so we have just one minute to walk more. Decide why you go back, stay here. When I eat something very, very sweet like baklava, huh. it's hot just once, not all right, the time. All left? left here. Left. Okay. Up, down. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is right Because one of them is really big. It's urgent. Yes, we're ready. 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 I'm feeling like uh, there is. I'm feeling it here. Uh, right now you feel numb. That's why uh, it's yeah. better if you don't <laughs> eat or drink anything. But one hour later, the anesthesia effect will go away slowly, and that time you can start to eat and drink. Okay, I really feel numb right now. <laughs> okay. Yeni olarak ağız içi iyi, uzun. Ama biraz daha e, özellikle fırçalanması gereken alanlar var. Daha dikkatli olması gereken. Generally your mouth condition is good, uh, mm. but there are some places that you should brush more carefully. Mm, like where? Yes. Uh, the back sides. The back sides. Evet, evet the fırçala fırçası biraz daha en arka dişlerine doğru gitmesi okay. gerekiyor. Oralarda not mm. reaching to the all the way back. That's mm. why because you have cavities all in those areas. Evet. Genetik olarak çok şanslılar. Genetik olarak çok şanslılar. Onu sonuna kadar bu. Hani ilk olarak bunu bu yıla kadar kullanmış ama bundan As sonra... As first dentist, I congratulate you. Oh, you thank you. Use them <gülüyor> until that time. But after this, we will see you every six months. Alright, alright. And um, I have some questions. Does it matter the kind of brush I use? Ee, ne tür bir fırça kullandığım fark eder mi? Orta saatlikte bir fırça kullanması gerekir. Hmm. Ee, baş kısmı küçük olmalı. Biz ona bir marka öneririz. Ee, you need to use medium brush and the head parts should be a bit smaller. We can recommend you. Hmm. Baş kısmının küçük olmasının nedeni de fırçasının en arka dişlerine kadar uzanabilmesi. Orayı da temizleyebilmesi. The reason uh, it should be like have a small head. Uh, that, that way it can reach all the way out since it's small. Hmm. Okay, 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 alright. I, I use a very thick one. Ah, it's hard to come. Oh, it's hard to come. I think it's wide, so I'm going to change that. Alright, thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Thank you too. Yeah. Thank you for coming. So, this is the first time I am examining my teeth, and to be honest, I, I, I'm regretting it a lot. I had holes in my teeth. And there were these yellow lines which she referred to as stones. I was just curious to see. So honestly brushing at night, uh, minding what to eat, minding what to drink, and brushing immediately after some foods. Uh, these are the things she recommended. And honestly, I, I'm going to take her advice seriously from now on because honestly we don't we don't know how lucky we are. It was a nice experience. I'm glad the service was really good, honestly. And she was a very fun <laughs> doctor always you know making us laugh yeah it was it was nice i didn't even feel time had gone but to be honest in terms of taking care of the teeth 
yeah, I think we should all um, take more notes on that. All right, thank you very much to Dental Aesthetic Center for letting, for letting us shoot our vlog here. Yeah, and they're very nice workers, so we really appreciate the support and help. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.